Hello everyone and welcome back to another movie review. It has been a very long time since I made a review. The entire summer I didn't do anything even though I kept meaning to. I did watch a ton of movies over the summer. I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and review any of them. But as you can see, we got a new setting. This is my college dorm room. I'm at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln doing film studies under Professor Wheeler Winston Dixon who is great and I will probably be reviewing some of the films that I watch in his class but to ease me into making reviews again hopefully on a more consistent basis and you have to excuse any audio in the background uh, there I live in a dorm there are people walking around and slamming doors and doing stuff to ease me back into making reviews I decided that I would review one of my favorite movies of all time recently I have bumped it up to my second favorite movie of all time after this last viewing just because watching it Everything about it makes me enjoy cinema, makes me enjoy movies and editing and acting and pacing and character development. All of my favorite things that are why I love movies, this is pretty much the pinnacle in my opinion. And I didn't want to be critical today. I'm not going to say anything negative about this movie because in my opinion, it is one of the most perfect all-around movies of all time. Uh, that there you go that's my uh, quick review is if you don't want to watch the rest of this and see any of my other opinions you don't have to five stars there you go you win I, Alan Silvestri who also did the amazing Avengers theme which is another one of my favorite movie themes of all time with amazing performances from Leah Thompson Michael J Fox Christopher Lloyd Thomas F Wilson and Crispin Glover all five of them pulled together the cast there's such great chemistry between each pair of them, and I'm very excited to give you all of my thoughts on this movie. So this review is going to be mostly ranting. Um, I love every aspect of this movie, and I'm going to touch on each thing that I think makes it so amazing. But first, I'm going to start off with the characterization. Characters are my favorite part about films and about storytelling, which is one of my favorite things. And each of the characters in this movie are so perfectly characterized from the iconic ways that they talk they have unique speech patterns they have unique costumes that reflect their personalities they have positions and actions that they do sort of on repeat throughout the movie that really give you an insight into their personality and it makes them instantly recognizable even from different angles which is really impressive the actors playing each of these characters does such an amazing job with the material that they're given it really is quite impressive how all around great the cast is the supporting cast which is biff and both of marty's parents feel like main characters because each of those characters are so iconic and have such amazing lines and actions that bounce off of each other and it really is such an amazing and impressive feat that carries through the next two movies as well and this also ties into another one of my favorite things about this movie which is the script every line of dialogue in this movie is impeccable like it just it blows me away every line leads to something every line sets up something for a later scene nothing seems to be wasted and as well as the actors doing their performances every line is iconic it has amazing delivery and pacing and you always feel like what you're listening to will not be forgotten about in the future pun intended it really just makes me feel like I'm in the moment and I have to pay attention to everything and it keeps you on your toes as well as the suspenseful story that's going on the suspense for paying attention to everything and wondering how it's going to be used next is really impressive another amazing thing about this as I hinted at before is the amazing score by Alan Silvestri the back to the future theme I think is my favorite movie theme of all time I have not really ranked them but it's definitely up there every note every hit of the muted trumpet and the swelling score is really used so well throughout of hints of the main theme played when the DeLorean is driving and when Marty does certain things that help him to his goal of getting back to the future. There's little hints of the theme throughout that really pull the entire thing together and keep you in the mindset of this is leading somewhere and it's really really fantastic. And also for an 80s movie, this movie has surprisingly fantastic special effects. The effects on the DeLorean shooting to 88 miles of hour, glowing blue in certain places, and just blasting into the future or the past is really impressive. The final iconic shot, spoilers for an 80s movie that pretty much everyone's seen, where the DeLorean flies off into the sky after Doc Brown says that amazing line about not needing roads. That looks great to this day the shots of 
the fire from the DeLorean shooting down the road in two parallel lines is so iconic and really one of my favorite um, moments from the movie. It's so recognizable and I'm very impressed at the work they did is you can see in some older movies and even when you get to something like Star Wars which has amazing practical effects and things like that it doesn't age quite as well you can see the costumes and the things working there but it's used so sparingly and only for impactful moments that things like when the DeLorean is coming out of the truck and light is glowing or the uh, speaker at the beginning blowing up in Marty's face all of those just are so impressively done that they still hold up to this day. And also for a summer blockbuster action movie, this movie also has surprisingly great shot composition and camera placement, creative use of angles with um, Biff's intimidating figure, covering parts of the camera with George or Marty in the background showing his um, you know, his imposing demeanor over their sort of weaker personalities. And also you get the reverse where Marty or George is coming to terms with being more powerful than they originally thought they were. You get their angle, their reverse shot angle, um, you know, over time of the fact that they are now the strong one with the camera going down on Biff really show how much thought they put in to the characterization and the camera working together. And the final thing I have to say about this movie is something that's awkwardly tangential, not about the movie itself, but why I enjoy it so much, is that I wish I could see it again for the first time. It's a movie that holds up amazingly well on rewatches. I've probably seen this movie six or seven times in my life, and every time I still enjoy every moment of it, but it's a movie that I wish I could see for the first time, put the puzzle together in my head again, notice the lines of dialogue repeating, instead of having everything predicted in my mind from seeing it so many times and studying each scene and every line of dialogue. Wanting to experience it again for the first time is a, one of the biggest praises I can give to any movie, and this is probably the biggest one of those in my opinion, where now that I've seen it so many times, I can notice things in the background. I can notice character dialogues, setting up things for future scenes, or repeats of set design in different time periods, things like that that are some of my favorite aspects of the movie now. I really wish I could get a fresh perspective on that, which of course is impossible, but wanting to do that and the fact that the movie makes me want to do that is one of the biggest compliments I can give to it. So that about does it for this review. Um, I really hope if you have not seen this movie um, that you A, didn't watch this review until you've seen it. You heard my glowing praise at the beginning in the first 30 seconds of this thing without even knowing what I said. Uh, but please go watch this movie if you watched all the way through and haven't seen the movie yet. I don't know how that's possible, but if it is, please do. This is a 5 out of 5 movie for me. I cannot praise this movie enough. As you can see, I didn't even say anything negative about it because I can't really think of anything. If you have uh, any conflicts or flaws you find in the movie, leave that down in the comments. I'd love to hear how you perceive this movie in the negative light that I just can't seem to find. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I will be back, hopefully. I'm very inconsistent for uh, future reviews. I'm in college now. I have a roommate and a weird schedule and all sorts of things, but I'd like to try to tie my um, film studies into this and sort of make it a more ritualistic thing. But we'll see. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in another video.